speak with you, Abigail. Will you sit? How do you come? Run me. I don't like the woods at night. Pray you, stand closer. Oh, I knew it was you. When I heard the pebbles in my window before I opened my eyes, I knew. I thought you'd come a good time sooner. I thought to come many times. And why haven't you? I'm so alone in the world now. Oh, are you? I hear a hundred people ride a hundred miles to come see your face these days. My face? Can you see my face? So you're troubled? Have you come to mock me? No, I only hear that the deputy governor plays shuffleboard with you at the tavern every night, and he gives you cider. I have once or twice played the shovelboard, but I have no joy in it. That's a surprise. I thought to find you gayer than this. I hear a troop of boys go step for step with you everywhere you walk. Aye, they do. But I have only lewd looks from the boys. You like that not? I cannot bear lewd looks no more, John. My spirit's changed entirely. I ought to be given godly looks when I suffer for them as I do. Oh, how do you suffer? Why, look at my leg. I'm holes all over from their damp pins and needles. The jab your wife gave me not heels yet, you know. Oh, it isn't. I think sometimes she pricks it open again while I sleep. Ah? Huh? And George Jacobs. He comes to me again and again and wraps me with his stick the same spot every night this week. Look at the lump I have. Gil, George Jacobs is in the jail all this month. Thank God he is, and bless the day he hangs and let me sleep in peace again. Oh, John, the world is so full of hypocrites. They pray in jail. I'm told they all pray in jail. They may not pray? And torture me in bed while sacred words are coming from their mouths? Oh, it will need God himself to cleanse this town properly. Abigail, you mean still to cry out others? If I'm alive, if I'm not murdered, then I surely will, until the last hypocrite is dead. Can there be no one good? Aye, there is one. You are good. Am I? How am I good? Why, you taught me goodness, therefore you are good. It were a fire you walked me through, and all of my ignorance was burned away. It were a fire, John. We lay in fire. And from that night, no woman dare call me wicked, but I had my answer. I used to weep for my sins when the wind lifted up my skirt, and blushed for shame when some old Rebecca called me loose. And then you burned my ignorance away. As fair as some December tree, I saw them all, walking like saints to church, running to feed the sick and hypocrites in their hearts. And God gave me the strength to call them liars, and God made men to listen to me, and by God, I will scrub the world clean for the love of him. Oh, John, I will make you such a wife when the world is white again. You will be amazed to see me, a light of heaven in your house. Why are you cold? My wife goes to trial in the morning. Your wife? Surely you know of it. I do remember it now. Oh. How is she well? As well as she may be 36 days in that place. You said you came friendly. My wife will not be condemned, Abigail. You brought me from my bed to speak of her. No, I only come to tell you what I will do in the court tomorrow. I will not take you by surprise, but I'll give you good time to think on what to do to save yourself. Save myself? If you do not free my wife, I am set and bound to ruin you. Ruin me? I have weighty proof and documents that you knew the poppet was not my wife and that you bade Mary Warren stab the needle in it. I bade Mary Warren. You know what you do. You're not so mad. Oh, hypocrites. And you want him too? Why do you let them send you, John? Okay, I, I, I warn you. They send you. They take away your honesty. I found my honesty. No. This is your wife pleading, your sniveling, envious wife. This is Rebecca's voice. This is Martha Corey's voice. You were no hypocrite. Okay, well, I warn you. And if they ask why Abigail would ever do such a murderous deed, what will you tell them? Tell them why. What will you tell them? You confess to fornication in the court? If you'll have it so, so I will tell. <laughs> I say I will. You will tell the court that you are blind to spirits and you cannot see them anymore. And you will not cry which we ought to anyone else, or I will make you famous for the whore that you are. 
Never in this world. I know you, John. In this moment, you are singing sacred hallelujahs that your wife will hang. You are mad, you murderous bitch. <laughs> How hard it is when pretense falls. But it falls. It falls. You have done your duty by her. I hope it is your last hypocrisy. I pray you will come again with sweeter news for me. I know that you will now that your duty is done. Good night, John. Fear not, for tomorrow I will save you. From yourself, you will be safe.